Hi, this is Chris Terrell. This is Excel Functions in VBA number two. We're actually going to be doing a count function. Last one we did was a sum function. We're going to go ahead and do exactly what count does. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this function here. And count actually only counts the numbers. So when we get this back, uh, it should, if we counted all the cells, it would actually return 21. Count's actually going to return only 17 because we have a Q, an A, B, and a C. So that returns 7. 17. We're actually going to go ahead and do that function in Visual Basic. We're actually going to pull up Visual Basic. Uh, it's be Alt F11. I already have it open. We're going to open a module. We're going to call this function count code. There we go. We're going to pass it a range. We need to declare that as a range. That way when we put equals count code, we put in the range, it's going to return that range. This is going to be fairly similar to the sum with a couple exceptions for cell for each cell in RNG. Next. Okay. Now we need to declare count. We're just going to do cnt as the variable. We're going to turn that into zero. Um, we do need to do one thing here uh, because we're only actually counting if it's a number. So we're going to go if cell dot value we're going to go is numeric and that will read can't spell today is numeric equals true. We've got to put in then C CNT equals CNT plus one. And if what this will actually do is we will put in the count code range. It's going to go through each cell. It's going to find out if that cell is numeric. If it is numeric, it's going to add to count. So now all we have to do is send that back to our function. And there we have it. So we're going to go ahead and test this, and make sure it works. We're going to go back to Excel. Notice I put in that stopper there so that we can actually watch to see what it does. We're going to go equals count code. Notice it populates that. We're going to select our range. We're going to hit enter, and it's going to go right into that function. It's going to say, is it numeric? It's going to add. It's going to keep adding. We're going to go, and what I was doing is I was hitting F8 to walk through that. I'm going to go to undo this, hit F5, and see if it worked. Looks like it works. It's counting them all up. We're going to go ahead and see if it works in this one. We're going to equals count right there. See if count code works as well. Can't copy it over. Equals count code. It's working. Works like a charm. Copy this over. There you have it. There you have count in count in VBA. The next one we're going to be doing is count A. It's a slight variation on this. Uh, look for it. You can also check me out at chrisjterrell.com or my YouTube channel. Talk to you soon.